We were offering to increase the top producer's income from a 50-50 split to closer to a 80 or 90, 10%. And if the system worked, that meant that everybody was gonna have to raise their, their uh, commission split to their best producers. That was quite controversial at the time. Uh, wasn't controversial with the agents. They all sounded like a good idea, but nobody wanted to be the first to try it. They would all say, well, I work with the best company in town. If you make it work, I'll eventually join you. And eventually that's exactly what happened. It was a very slow start, ran into a lot of financial difficulties. Uh, a lot of companies tried to put me out of business. Unfortunately, I was doing a pretty good job by myself. And uh, we just had the stick to us and the persistence. We never quit. And by the end of five years, uh, we had 289 agents. We we're number one company in Colorado. All the officers I started with, I mean, all of us ended up divorced in five or six years. We were working 18 hours a day with this magical mistress called Remax. And we'd gone from nobodies to standing on a stage with thousands of people and making it grow and becoming number one in market after market. And we gave up uh, providing the family atmosphere we should have been providing. And all of us ended up divorced. Eventually, most of us found our way. I've stayed married now for 40 some years. I had a lot of time in uh, helicopters in Vietnam, but was not a pilot. <clears throat> and I came back and uh, we were uh, in uh, two small plane accidents in the United States. And I got out of the second small plane accident and I said, I'm never getting back in a, in a plane if I'm not the pilot. And so I went and got my uh, private multi-engine commercial and instrument ratings in less than a year. I bought a little Piper Saratoga, uh, six passenger single engine. And then I bought a Malibu, which was a much hotter plane. And at the time I was flying around the country uh, five days a week, selling franchises, setting up offices and giving seminars. And so giving up the crowded friendly skies of United and the rest of them, uh, I enjoyed the flying, but it was really stressful. Uh, to fly for an hour or two and speak all day and that night, no matter what the weather, fly to the next place. And so we started gradually moving into uh, NetJet shares. And uh, we started very inexpensively, like a 16th, maybe an eighth of a hawker, a small hawker. Um, eventually we moved on. Uh, I bought my own Falcon 2000 got type rated in it. I had a little jet fighter plane. Uh, I still love to fly for fun, uh, but most of my business flying was commercial. And so we used private air for about 80% of it. It was so much easier with our own plane or with NetJet shares uh, to leave the flying to somebody else. And at the time I was flying between 200 and 250 days a year. And so, it was very cost effective. Uh, it helped us build our company. And of course, as we expanded around the world, we continued with flying around the world. I think, I think that if I had sold houses for 50 years, I would have been bored out of my gourd and I would have quit after five or 10 years. The fact that Remax emerged and grew so successful, it was always a new year for me. When you put a convention on 50 years ago, 26 people versus put a convention on today with 15 or 20,000, you have to grow an awful lot as a human being to manage that kind of success for your company. Not everybody has the ability to grow with a company to that size. We had the advantage of being young, but the biggest thing was I loved adventure. I love to scuba dive, I love to fish, I love to camp, I love to shoot uh, photographs, I uh, love to skydive. And so I worked hard and in the first 10 years, 
probably worked too hard, too many 60, 70 hour work weeks. I got a hold of it when I realized what was happening with my family and I managed to turn it around and state, now I can do what I have to do. And sometimes you work a lot more than you want to, but you better be scheduling your vacations and taking your kids, showing up for the ball games and the soccer games. And I managed to salvage my relationship with four fabulous young people who are now all in their 50s. I think two factors. Number one, the quality of our sales associates, our agents outproduce the competition three to one. They have to pay us to work for us. And so it's very hard for a beginner or part-timer to come to work. And so we've got people who are very serious about the business and because they're serious, they get the vast majority of their business repeats and referrals. The second thing we've come to figure out is the more serious you are about your business, the more adaptable you are. And we've had to adapt in the 50 year history of the company. We've lived through nine different presidencies and their administrations. Some were good, some were ugly, some were stupid. We've been through eight recessions. Two or three of them are really, really tough. And one of them, they were trying to break the back of inflation. So the FHA and VA rate went from 7% to 16.5%. You have to adapt to those circumstances. 2008, all of a sudden we had, you know, millions of foreclosures. Our top producers were used to selling million dollar properties. They had to adapt and start selling 100 to 200,000 dollar repos. And so the most talented people who are the most adaptable are the most successful. I spend 60 to 70 days a year on Remax, including today as a uh, executive leadership management team. We're having lunch together in a couple minutes. Uh, I do all the conventions. I do some investor relations. Uh, I travel internationally and do the major conventions to continue to be a cheerleader for the company, as does my wife. Uh, but uh, we're closing in on 80. And uh, I recognize 10 years ago that no matter how intelligent and how much experience I had, younger, faster, smarter, was always nipping at my heels. I'm in love with the company I built. I want to leave it in great hands. I don't want to have stayed so long that I tear down what I built. I respect anybody that follows me.